Hello, today I want to show you in a short tutorial the Excel export function in Test Expert 3. This is the last sample I have to test from this batch. Our lab manager asks for the data in an Excel sheet as well as a PDF test report. As usual, he wants these documents immediately. Luckily, I have a Test Expert 3 test program ready, so this should not be any issue. The last sample seen here in purple broke a bit early, probably because the sample was not well prepared or there was a flaw from the injection molding. However, the main values are okay. First, I prepare the Excel file with all the data our lab manager needs. I select all samples from this series and I just press the right mouse button and select Excel Export. With just one click, the export is complete. All test results, test parameters, and selected raw data are exported to Excel automatically. There is one file with all the data nicely separated into different worksheets. This is exactly what my boss wants to have. Then, I quickly prepare a PDF test report for our customer and internal documentation. These two exports can be done fully automatically. However, I have done it manually since we do not need these documents every time. Now I will demonstrate how the Excel export can be customized if you need different data. I select the default Excel export and select the edit function with the right mouse button. On the first tab, we can define the file name and Excel format. On the next tab, some general settings such as what and how many lines of the raw data are exported can be configured. Here, I select to have a fixed grid of exported data every 20 milliseconds. On the Channels tab, we can now select which measurement channel we want to export and in which unit. Similar settings are available on the Parameters and Results tab. There are default selections made which can be adjusted. On the Statistics tab, all common statistical functions are available and can be selected. The moment of time of the export can be customized also, either manually or at a predefined time. There is an option called at Zempt command, which we will explain in a separate video that covers the usage of our macro language Zempt. Finally, on the last tab, the name of the export filter can be set. 
As you have seen in this short video, there are many settings for customizing your Excel export. Please feel free and try different settings. I am confident you will be able to set your filters to suit your particular needs. We are happy to report most of our users are already happy with the default settings from Zwick Ru.